So I would like to introduce the first speaker, Dr. Hao Thi Min Bui from Vietnam. So he would like to present his whole presentation on the prevalence and patterns of HIV testing among MSM in Hanoi, Vietnam. Please join me to welcome Dr. Bui. Thank you very much for the introduction, and I would like to thank the symposium for having me here uh, presenting uh, our initial findings of the HIM Hanoi study on uh, prevalence and patterns of HIV testing among uh, men who have, sex, who have sex with men in Hanoi, Vietnam. Uh, my talk will have a four parts introduction with study aim, methods, findings, and conclusion. Uh, globally, HIV testing remains the critical entry point to, more, to both HIV treatment and care uh, in connecting people who are at risk or who are living with HIV um, uh, to, to, the health, uh, to, to the healthcare system and among key population, including MSM. Re regular HIV testing is recommended as an integral part a combination HIV prevention and, AIT, and early ART initiation. Globally, uh, the recommendation for regular te HIV testing ran ranging from uh, quarterly to annually depend on each country. And in v Vietnam, re recently the national, the national guideline has been updated to suggest testing for every six months for key population, including MSM. However, some, <laughs> some of our research show that MSM in Vietnam are at high risk of HIV testing, but underutilized under HIV testing service. That, 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 therefore, we use the first way baseline of him Hanoi research to examine the prevalence and pattern of HIV testing among MSM and also identify factors associated with HIV testing in this group. So what is HIM Hanoi? Oh, I'm so sorry. What is HIM Hanoi? It is an ongoing prospective observational research to estimate prevalence and, uh, and incident of, of HIV and SDI and, and also uh, factor associated with this prevalence and uh, incident. Why the, the, whole, the, the, the whole baseline survey uh, recruit almost 2,000 MSM for this, pre for this presentation, we, we, um, we we, uh, we present here the data of the first wave baseline among uh, 800 MSM recruited via venue-based time location sampling in 2017. Um, men who are Vietnamese, uh, six, 16 years old or older, living in Hanoi continuously for the past three months, and, and re Re report having oral or anal sex with another man or transgender woman in the, in the last 12, 12 months and sign in the consent form are eligible for this, this uh, re research. We use AKC to collect uh, data on social demographics, uh, homosexual, uh, homosexual related stigma, ho homosexual behavior disclosure, uh, community engagement, uh, health service uh, and su substance use and sexual practice. We also test for HIV and STI for this population. Uh, for, um, for this uh, present, we in include in 797 men who provide information on HIV test uptake and also the time interval seen the first, seen, seen the most recent HIV testing uh, uh, among men who report ever tested. Um, we based on the, um, uh, the re re review and recommend 
Dyson from the US C CDC in 2017 to categorize the HIV testing pattern into three groups. The first group is men who tested for HIV with, with, within previous 12 months and call them recent tester. The second group is men who tested in more than 12 months previously and call them non-recent tester. And the last one is men who never test for HIV and we call them never tester. All the data was wet and um, uh, analyzed using, <laughs> using the software Stator 14. And we use multi-nominal multi logistic to explore factors associated uh, with, with HIV testing. Uh, in, uh, in, in this model, we use recent tester as the base, base for comparison. Just want to go. Um, we, uh, our, our participants have a mean age at 24.8, and more than two thirds of them less than 25 years old. Uh, they have um, uh, almost 90% had at least 12 years of, of schooling, and almost two, two, two thirds was born outside of Hanoi, but live in Hanoi at the time of the study. In terms of sexual attraction, uh, um, more than 80% of them sexually attracted to men. We, uh, we use validated tool to measure three dimensions of stigma. Uh, for this tool, the, 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 the run, run from one to five with, with higher score, indicating higher, is, hi, higher stigma. And for our study, the, the, the score ran from 2.1 to 2.3 for three, three dimensions out of four. We, we also use in, uh, international tool to, um, to, um, to measure the le level of MF MSM community engagement. This, this tool ran from one to nine. And for our, for, and for our participants, the, the level of MSM community engagement is, is 5.5 out of night. Uh, we found that a very little of uh, men ha have uh, ever bravely disclosed their sexual, their same sex behavior. Just around 10% ever disclosed to family member, around 20% ever disclosed to health worker, and around a, a third of them ever disclosed their same sexual behavior to. Uh, to their friend or college. In, uh, in, in terms of uh, access and use health service, we found that uh, almost a quarter of them ever diagnosed with any STI, and more than 90% of them report that they ever re received free condoms. We found a high prevalence of almost 70% men report alcohol consumption in their lifetime or in the last three months. Also, more than 20% of men report ever use illicit drugs and 12.3% use illicit drugs in the last three months. Uh, and just, uh, um, uh, uh, just a small proportion of 1.6% ever inject illicit drugs. But um, we, we also see that participants who are sexually active with almost 90% ha having anal sex with uh, any type of male partner in the last six months. And also our data indicate that a high prevalence of, of um, engaging in risky sexual be behavior, as you could see, almost uh, half, half of them had condom list and no intercourse in the last six months with male partner, and a, a third of them had condom list and no intercourse at their last annual sex. Uh, d d however, despite being sexual active, our data shows, show a low HIV testing uptake among this population. Just around two, two thirds ever tested for HIV living one, one third never tested for the HIV in their lifetime. And when, when, when compared with our re recent 
recommendation for testing for HIV among key population in last six months was only 40% meet this criterion. Uh, we, we also um, ex uh, explore reason for never tested uh, among men who never test for HIV. And we, we found that the majority of them said that they did not think that they had risk. And also around 15% said that they did not have time for HIV testing. Uh, and uh, around 10% said the reason for never testing is fear of fear of stigma or other reason. For example, they, don't, they didn't know where to go for HIV testing. And um, among men who ever tested for HIV in their lifetime, we, we asked about the life, the, the type of test, and the location for their most re recent. We found that half, half of them were tested at hospital by the health professional. Just around 20% ever tested by the community-based uh, um, communi um, communi organization using lay testing. Or, or they test by, the, by themselves at home. Uh, I use uh, mon multinomial logistic regression to look for factors associated with non-recent tested and uh, never tested. Again, in this mo model, I use recent tester as the base of comparison. I would like to present factors associated with non-recent tested first compared to recent tester. Non-recent tester were more likely at at of 25 to 66, uh, but less likely, at, uh, but less le less likely have at least 12 years of schooling, and less likely to ever ever receive a free uh, um, a free condoms from health service. With re with regard to factor associated with never testing. Uh, we found that compared to two recent tester, uh, ne never tester was less likely to socially involved with MSM community. They they were also they were also less likely to ever disclose homosexual behavior to family member. They also less likely to ever be diagnosed with with any SCI, but they were m much more like likely to engage in condomless and no intercourse with their male clients in the last six months. From all of this finding, I would like to go to the conclusion. HIV testing uptake among MSM in Hanoi, Vietnam remains suboptimal, which was around 40% met the national guideline for testing, and one, one, one third had never received an HIV test. Compared to recent tester, non-recent tester were older age, lower, lower uh, education, and less likely to receive free condom from health service. And compared to recent tester, never tester were less likely to socially involved with MSM community, less likely to have ever disclosed homosexual behavior to a family member less likely to have ever been diagnosed with a non-HIV SDI, but more likely to engage in sexual risk behavior in the context of sex work. Oh, sorry. Uh, now, uh, so my, um, my, 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 my research show a high need for appropriate advocacy and, pre and intervention to increase HIV testing among MSM, the future intervention, especially among older but less educated MSM, need to emphasize the benefit of regular testing to boost this behavior among them. Um, more, more effort are need to reach MSM who never tested for HIV to, to promote frequent HIV testing. Uh, the, uh, this 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 uh, this uh, effort could include the diversifying approach to reach to men 
who are less engaged in the MSM community and increasing HIV risk awareness among MSM and also increase the, the availability of different tests, uh, uh, different testing op option in the community and also in, in, in the healthcare setting. And as uh, stigma is, is a high prevalent in, 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 in Vietnam, there is a need to create a safe, stigma-free and enabling environment to encourage access to health service and disclosure of homosexual identity and behavior among this, among this population. I would like to end my presentation by thanking to CDC Vietnam for funding this research. Uh, thank, thank, thank to study participants and the research team at Hanoi Medical University, and also special thanks to all my three supervisors to make uh, this uh, this possible, including Professor Lisa Maher at the Kirby Institute, Associate Professor Irina Zabloska at, University, uh, at the Sydney University, and Associate Professor Le Ming Zhang at Hanoi Medical University. Thank you very much.